Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Two wins out of the last four runs. We are fucking swimming in success right now. And we've got ourselves an Eden run, which we haven't had in a while, um, mainly because I stopped doing them um, so often. Flush. What does flush do? I don't remember, but statistically, this Eden run is looking really good um, to start off with. Um, we have we have solid uh, damage, solid rate, solid rate of fire. Um, speed is above average a little bit, and uh, on top of that, everything else is relatively normal. So, all in all, pretty good. Um, pretty happy with what we have here. Um, I think we can work with it. I just, you know, I would like to know what flush does. I think it sends you down to the next floor. Something tells me it sends you down to the next floor. Not entirely positive about that, but we'll see what happens. You know, I could always just try it out, or I could look it up. <coughs> and I think I'm going to do that because I would much rather play it safe then take a risk, not knowing what it does, and ultimately dick myself over. So. Thought there was a bug crawling on my screen. I was about to flip shit. Okay, flush. Effect. Turns all non-boss enemies into poop. DLC, which is what, I think that's what Afterbirth Plus is, right? Floods the whole room with water. Flushes all poop-related enemies away. Okay. Alright, so it does something entirely different than I thought it did. And it is actually worthwhile to hold on to. In my opinion. Um. Now, wait a minute. The arcade turns out to be a shop, which is odd never seen that before but uh, well we don't have any bombs which is unfortunate because um, I would like to blow up that tinted rock but you know if it can't happen it can't happen I'm not gonna try and make it happen if it if it isn't gonna work because obviously I can't do that but um, it's not a big deal anyway I think we'll be fine um, it would just, it would help for deal with the devil purposes. <coughs> Alrighty. I don't think we're going to get the opportunity unless I can scrounge up one more coin. That's all I need. And then I can buy a bomb and I can see what the tinted rock has. I think we can get it here. I think this is a good opportunity for a coin, if any. Okay, a heart. I don't need that. Alrighty. So I see how it is. And I don't appreciate it. And I cannot put out those fires. Which is also very unfortunate. So I guess we're going to have to leave that behind. Um... Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do. Uh... Alrighty, well, no big deal. We can make it work regardless. Um, we're still not off to a bad start here by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it would have just been nice to be able to capitalize on that. But, you, know. you win some, you lose some. That is how it goes. I'm going to use this because I don't like this room. I got another arcade, which gave us Celtic Cross, which is actually pretty good, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what Celtic Cross does, but it is normally an angel room item, which means it is probably a defensive item, I would wager. Not positive at all, but I think it is likely that it is a defensive item. 
Also, as it turns out, you use coins to get into these rooms because of the I have an item. Um, the first the the item I started with from the very beginning um, enables that apparently, which I did not realize, but is actually pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. You know, because it's much less of a of a cost to us to to go into those rooms now. And at least see what's in there, you know. So that is perfectly good in my book. Alright, that was really close. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh we're fine. If we don't get to deal with the devil on this floor, it is not a big deal. Um it would be ideal, you know, not going to lie to you, but we do not need it. Oh, we got Celtic Cross because that was the item room. I'm a fool. <coughs> <coughs> All right. I think we'll be fine going into this boss fight. Yeah, it is unlikely we die in here, so I am not concerned. But I don't know about our deal with the devil opportunity. We shall see. Also, solid news regarding the cough. Um, either it is starting to go away, or the cough suppressants I've been taking are finally starting to work. Because I am not coughing as often. Now, granted, I did take a dose of uh, Formula 44 uh, like two hours ago. So, if I were to, if my coughs were to be suppressed, you know, now would be the time for it. Um, you know, but hopefully it's the, it's a case of uh, my cough starting to go away. That would be very ideal. Also, this Krampus fight is not ideal. I would like to note because I was in no way prepared for this. I was in no way anticipating a Krampus fight. And I died as a result because I wasn't expecting that it was going to work out like that. All right. So we start off with Gimpy now, which is pretty okay. Um, not as good of stats. Damage is good. Rate of fire is bad. Um, speed is a little below average. Range is good. Um, and then everything else is pretty normal. Um, shot speed is a little low, too. But all in all, not terrible. Um, you know, maybe we'll be able to make this work. We'll see what happens. Wouldn't be surprised if we die relatively early on here, too. You know, we're kind of, like, in a rough spot a little bit. Um, rate, the, the low rate of fire makes it really difficult to, to kill these enemies. Get out of here, you motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Uh, we did find our item room, did we? Yeah, we left it because I didn't want that. Although maybe you know it would give us the increased rate of fire. Maybe it's worthwhile, but I don't like it. You know, is the thing. But the increased rate of fire, I think it's I think it's worth it. To be honest with you. We kind of need it. So, tractor beam is fine. It also increases the shot speed and the range, which I was not even aware of. But, that is also very helpful. I think we'll be fine. It doesn't change things a whole lot. Um, just a little bit. I mean, all in all, we just can't really shoot diagonally. Which is not a big deal. I don't know why I perceive that to be such a big deal. And I mean, you still can even a little bit. But, for whatever reason, it feels really limiting. Can't explain it. Um, but, that's how it's always felt. 
So, I don't know. Regardless, we're rolling with it. End of story. Nothing is going to change that at this point. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. We're good. We're good. We made it work. We are now fine. We should land a deal with the devil. I would be very disappointed in myself if we didn't. We have way too much, you know, temporary HP for us to not land a deal with the devil. You know, we would have to fuck this up something fierce in order to not land with him. You know, and to be honest, this room would probably do it. Not gonna lie, because this is awful. I hate this. Nah, but we'll be fine. Where'd you go, bud? Alright, cool. Two of clubs. Don't really care for it, so I'll use it immediately. And right on time, too, because there's a tinted rock right here. Hell yeah. If that gave me, you know, like, small rock, too, or, you know, instead, I would have been perfectly okay with that as well. You know, because now we're at a point where all of our stats are pretty good except for speed and luck, but, um, you know, so now we can start taking statistical upgrades for just about anything, I think, ideally, damage and rate of fire, but... Um, you know, we can, we can take statistical upgrades for a variety of different things and it'll help us out. Um, so no, you know, not a big need in any department, which is good early on. Ah. Fuck. What is wrong with me? I walk into those, uh. Walked into those flies like a goddamn fool. Like a fool. I don't want to be a fool. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. You know, if we had flush, we could get rid of this guy right quick, but, uh, you know, I fucked that up for myself. And I'm aware that I have this spacebar item, which will allow me to block these shots that are coming in. But I cannot think on that wavelength. That requires way too much brain power. <coughs> right, what do you got? Pentagram. Thank you very much. Absolutely will take that. Uh, and I think we're good. All right, so looking solid here to start off with. Looking much better than we did on the last run. Well, not much better, but better, you know, because we're alive. But, um, yeah, looking good here. Looking good here. I'm confident. I've been feeling good. Maybe we can make it three wins out of the last six runs, you know, keep it at that 50-50 uh, level. Maybe we can pull that off. Our item rooms haven't been very helpful um, so far, but we haven't necessarily needed them yet, so I am not terribly concerned about that, but I think at some point we are going to start need them, needing them to pay off a little bit more than they have, um, because we're at a point where, you know, we really need to start bulking up before we get to these later floors, and... Uh, you know, our item rooms are not helping us out with that. Tinted rock. Small rock, let's go. <coughs> Damn it, I wasn't paying attention. I had to cough. Hell yeah. We got a little bit of a rate of fire upgrade too. Which is extremely good. Alright, so in very good shape here. 
feeling very confident about where we're at. Now, granted, I think I overrate the damage stat a little bit. You know, I think that sometimes I think that, you know, an extremely high damage stat is the pathway to victory, which it can be, but it's not always, um, it, that's not always the case, you know, there, there has to be other factors involved. Um, you know, we need additional help and I think our item rooms have to do that for us because, uh, you know, damage is good, you know, damage is really solid for where we're at, but we need help in other departments, you know, like defense. I think defense is something that we could use. Um, and I don't know, you know, th there, there are items out there that are game changing, you know, that kind of redefine your run and give it new life, you know, the, and they don't necessarily pertain to a particular stat. They kind of just have a lot, you know, they have a certain effect that, you know, changes a run. And they, I, I feel like we're going to need that soon, you know, despite the fact that, you know, we're looking good on paper. I think that we are going to need that game-changing um, item at some point or another because we're, you know, we're at a stage where we don't have anything that could really compare to that yet. And that makes me nervous. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this very much. There you go. Thank you for lining yourselves up like that. Made my life a lot easier. Thank you for the additional bomb as well, so that I can blow this up. Okay. Um, I would like a key soon. Because, uh... Well, thank you. Because I was going to say I need it for the item room. Which could potentially contain that game-changing item that we are seeking. I don't think that's it. But we can't change it, so... Transcendent tears are, you know... It, it's another meh item, and that's all we've been getting from our item rooms. And that's kind of making me a little worried, you know. Like, nothing inherently bad, but nothing good. And you kind of... I don't know. There's there's kind of like a... a point where you need good items coming from your item room. Or your item rooms. And uh, if you don't have that going on, then it gets a little... It's, it, it, it gives you room to get a little concerned, I think. At least for me, anyway. All right, another key. I would like more money, if possible, so that I could... Or bomb, you know, either or, so I could re-roll the shop and see if I can get a solid item out of there. Um... Maybe we can get a deal with the devil here. Thing is, is that I don't know if we would be able to capitalize on that. Because we only have the one red heart container, but. You know what? I'm going to go after it. I think demon wings is worth it. Um, so I'm going to go back. And collect this. And collect this. Um, I think at this point, we'll just take the spirit hearts. We'll try to reroll for those instead, because we are in need of them. Alrighty. Okay, so we're we're in a bit of a touchy spot. 
I think. It's a it's a bit of a weird situation, you know, because on paper we look good, but we, we don't have that game-changing item that I've been talking about. But we'll see what happens here, because this floor, you know, could change a lot of things, or it could change nothing. And if it changes nothing, we're in a bad spot, but if it, you know, gives us some help, can potentially make it work. And the tears upgrade is really nice. And since our range stat was so high, um, you know, taking the, the loss on that is not a huge deal. We're taking the L, as the kids say. Why do I do that? I, I think I'm absolutely hilarious when I say stuff like that. In my head, I'm like, dude, that's so funny. You know, people are going to eat that shit up. And then, I, you know, I hear myself say it. I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? You know, like... Sure, it's funny to you, but is it funny to anybody else? I don't think so. Okay, belly button, once again. Not a good item to pick up here. Um, and to be honest, I don't think it's worthwhile exploring the rest of the floor because our, H our HP is temporary. You know, so we don't have any real... We don't ha really have much to gain from putting our HP at risk like that. But... Uh, who knows, maybe that'll come back to bite us in the ass, I don't know. Can't know these things. Kinda just have to guess. And take risks. Alright, so a little bit of defense. For what it's worth. Uh, Fuck me. Okay, we're fine. We are a-okay. We're fine. We're fine. Just calm down. I'll think about it. Ooh. Hell yes. Satanic Bible is an absolute godsend. Um, ooh, and the thing is, is that if... Would I, would I want to spend 15 cents on this book just for the opportunity to maybe get Bookworm if I find one other book? I don't know. Maybe. You know, if we come up with 15 cents, I will... Uh, I will take it into consideration, but if not, I'm not going to worry about it. But Satanic Bible is a really nice pickup. Having that ability to regenerate HP like that is extremely good. Granted, it's not going to save us, but it's going to make things easier on us, which is always nice. can't come back once we go in. I think maybe we'll be fine. <coughs> <coughs> but I just want to make sure, you know, I'm not um, you know, I'm not leaving behind anything that I may want. I think we'll be okay. Isaac. 
Oh, she stepped on me, but I didn't take any damage. Well, you know, that time I took damage because I'm a moron. But no deal with the devil. Oh, we did get one. Never mind. I take it back. Uh, I don't like either one of those, to be honest with you. Sacrificing three spirit hearts for either one of those does not seem like a great idea. Uh, okay. I think, you know what? I think we can move on. I think we'll be fine. Okay, this is going to be interesting because we, we still don't have that game-changing item. But Satanic Bible is making things easier for us in that we can stay alive longer. Um, which, in a sense, is kind of a game-changing item. And I guess that's kind of, you know, the idea. Even though that isn't exactly what I had in mind. But it works. You know, it fits the mold anyway. Okay, all right, we're fine, we're fine. Just take it nice and slow. Nope, not gonna take that. I like the two trinkets that I have, even though I don't know what they really do. In my book, it's okay to hold on to them. At this point, we're just looking for the boss fight as, you know, as quick as we can get to it. Um, I think at this point, this is as good as we're going to get, you know, until we make it to the chest, if we can make it to the chest with what we have here. And I feel like we can, but it is going to be close, I think. You know, I'm not going to say that we're shit out of luck here, but, uh, because we're not, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, why would I say that? It's, you know, just inaccurate, but, uh, at the same time, you know, we, it is a little risky where we're at. Goathead is really nice, actually, picking up, even this late in the game. It is nice to have just to see what we can get out of it. We've already fought Krampus, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, which is also good. Of course, we'll have to be conscious about, you know... How much HP, HP we give up at uh, deals with the devil, but not too worried about that either. I think I'll make the right decision. I trust myself because I've made good decisions the past couple of runs. Um, Peeper? We can line him up, I think, to get hit by Peeper. If I just... There we go. Oh, I almost forgot that he does that. This way. Wrong way. Cool. Alrighty. Not a problem. We have transcendent tears, which have actually turned out to be very helpful. And I did not think they would be. So, you know, fuck me. I am still a fool when it comes to many things. And I know, you know, it might come across like I'm trying to act smart while I'm playing this game. It's not me trying to act like I'm smart. It's me making some observations for myself to some extent. Because when I vocalize things that I notice, 
it helps me out, you know, it, uh, it helps me think about what's going on, you know, and, uh, ultimately I think it helps me make better decisions. So it's not so, it, it is not at all about me trying to make myself sound smart. Um, it really, uh, Krampus again? Oh, you know what? We fought Krampus in the last run. That's right. That's why we're fighting him again. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Made it work. Lump of coal. I will take. Absolutely. And uh, we can move on. <coughs> All right. We have two of these things now. I guess. Okay. Okay. What do you got? A whole lot of consumables, which I don't have a problem with, really. Mm, not really worth it in my eyes. In your eyes. In your eyes. I think that's how that song goes, right? I don't know. I've heard that song many times, but I have not heard it recently. So. Don't really remember the lyrics all that well. Okay. You know, maybe having this trinket, the Fartoom trinket, round cap, whatever it's called, um, having it kind of sucks. So I am not going to hold on to it anymore because I would prefer that poop does not explode in my face unexpectedly. Thank you very much. Okay. Pill. Telepills. Not at all useful, but... <coughs> actually kind of useful because I wouldn't have gone in there otherwise. So... go here. Okay. Well, not a problem. We're fine. We have plenty of HP, even though we can't see how much HP we actually have. I know that we have enough. Hopefully, you know. I haven't gotten hit too many times. That very easily could have been avoided. Um, God damn it. We will not get this. Hey, there we go. All right, so line it up like that, and we'll let you get hit by a peeper again. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. Should be able to, you know, last in this boss fight. I think we'll be fine. I think we deal enough damage to make it work. Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, we're good. We are very good. All right, cool. Let me get that deal with the devil. Uh, give me Rotten Baby. For sure. Would we want to take on Hush? I don't think we could handle it, to be honest. And I feel kind of like, you know, uh, kind of like a coward for not doing it, but it's, it's like, you know, like I, I just, I'm at a stage where I don't think I'm good enough to handle that yet. You know, I've been winning more often than normal recently, but that does not mean that I am, you know, all of a sudden capable of handling you know, a hush fight. I've beaten hush before, but I had a very good run. I have to have a very good run in order for, you know, in order for me to be convinced that I can handle a hush fight. And that doesn't happen too often. <sighs> oh boy. What is this? Fate? Flight eternal. All right, well, it doesn't really do anything for me. 
because I already had the ability to fly. But I did get a, uh, you know, the red heart container, which is useful. Two of clubs. Okay. So, a pretty nice room. I'll take that, and we're going to go back in here, actually. Okay, not worth it. Yeah, we're looking real good. I'm feeling fairly confident about this now. I think Satanic Bible was definitely the game-changing item that we needed. Didn't really recognize it at first. You know, because in my head, that game-changing item was going to be, um, you know, like an offensive effect or something like that, you know. But um, as it turns out, it was definitely Satanic Bible. Without a doubt, no question, we wouldn't be alive right now, I think, without it. You know, Gimpy might have been able to keep us alive for a little longer, but we are most certainly here still because of Satanic Bible. <coughs> cool. There we go. And we are more than ready. As ready as we'll ever be. Okay. Alright, I need to, like, you know, open my eyes a little bit. Fucking hell. Uh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Just take it easy. Okay. <sighs> you almost had me. You almost had me. Cool. Good. Okay. Let's see what we can get here in the chest. Um, you know, hopefully some decent items. Yo, listen. Okay. We don't know what that does, really, to be honest with you. Um, Holy Light is pretty decent. What is this? Isaac's Tears. I forgot an item that has no use now whatsoever. Amnesia, great. Bombs are key. Also fine, actually. Because um, on this floor, you never know when you're going to get chests that, you know, could have items that require keys to be opened. I just got to remember which way I need to go. I am receiving a phone call, but I do not recognize the number, so I am not going to answer it. More, more likely than not, it's a telemarketer, and if it's somebody that needs me, they can leave a voicemail. Okay? Okay. Don't know why, you know, I needed to <laughs> say that out loud, but at this point, I am, you know, just voicing all of my thoughts out loud, so have fun with that. It was a downtown Cleveland number, which is odd because I never get number or never get calls from downtown Cleveland. Um, so I think it's probably a telemarketer. If I am, you know, if I'm gonna investigate a little bit, but uh, you know, if they leave a message, I guess I'll find out. If not, then I'm just going to assume it was a telemarketer. Alrighty. I have no idea where I am. I guess this wasn't the right way. 
Holy shit. Where the hell did I come from? And where did I go? And where did I come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I mean, I'm assuming... Okay. Hey, we found it. Good, good, good. Alright, we're set. Let's do it. No. I forgot that you're shooting at me. I gotta remember that, you know, that's a thing that happens. Ooh, what'd you expect? Him to just let him hit, or let you hit him? No. I just don't remember. You know, sometimes. Okay, I get caught up in the moment. We did it. Let's go. Hell yeah. Three wins in six runs. That is pretty solid. I think that's, you know, that's up there with the best I've ever performed, you know, over that kind of length of uh, length of time. So, I am feeling real good. Real good, real confident. And sometimes it just takes me a bit to get going, you know. That, that run we started off with today, not good, you know, didn't play well. But sometimes I just got to warm up a little bit and then I can kick it into high gear. But, uh. Anyway, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, let me know down in the comments section below, like the video, and share it with your friends. Unless we know you want to see more of any game series I do here on the channel, the link down to the game is in the description box below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. Love you very much, and I'll talk to you later.